Reverend clergy, parents, friends, and graduates, my name is Danielle O'Coin, and I have the honor and privilege to serve this class, this school, and this great community of New Waterford as principal of Breton Education Center. I'm very pleased to welcome you to the 51st graduation celebration. Before we begin, I ask that everyone present join me by observing a moment of silence to remember those that are not here with us today. Whether it be a classmate, friend, teacher, or family member, this moment of reflection and remembrance will allow us to include those who aren't here with us as part of today's celebration. I would like to begin by acknowledging that we are in Mi'kma'ki, the traditional and ancestor territorial of the Mi'kmaq people. Our graduates are wearing orange rib ribbons to honor the indigenous children who have lost their lives while attending residential schools. These ribbons acknowledge and honor the lost children and their family. And now, welcome to each of you, the Breton Education Center graduation class of 2021. A graduation ceremony is always a special occasion, the culmination of years of hard work, the actualization of goals attained, and the acknowledgments of successes achieved. So it is fitting that today we commemorate the road that we have all traveled together these last few years. At this time, I would like to thank several individuals who without them, this celebration would not be possible. Mr. Kevin Carney and Mr. Ronnie Crew. I want to express my sincere appreciation to you for being the most superb school administration I've ever known. Your leadership, heart, and commitment is remarkable and inspiring. I know many other parents and students feel the same way, even though we may not often tell you how much we appreciate you. Thank you again for your wise and strong leadership. Our school is definitely a better place because of you, and I'm thankful to call you both friends. To the teachers of Breton Education Center who have proven time and time again and shown your continued dedication and hard work and devotion to the success of our students. We thank all of you for your continued efforts. We are ably backed by our school support staff. We must not forget their amazing work making sure we have food, heat, lights, technology, security, and a clean environment. A special thanks to our custodian, Justin Birch, and the superb cleaning staff for the amazing jobs that you do. We would not be able to fulfill our duties without you. I would like to take a minute to extend a sincere thank you to the graduation committee for all of their endless and tireless work to create and carry through with the amazing plan and preparation that went into the graduation celebration this year for our graduates. There are not enough words to express our appreciation for your energy, creativity, and talents. It is because of your vision and dedication that our graduates are able to experience a different and unique, but beautiful and miraculous graduation celebration. And thank you to all of our staff of volunteers for helping bring this vision to light for our graduates during this difficult and challenging time. To our guidance department and scholastic committee for your time and dedication and endless hours. To Constable Danielle Campbell and Constable Tyler Link, our school liaison officers, for their support and efforts in making sure the safety and well-being of our students and guests are maintained. To Ray J. McClellan and Crew Productions and Adam McLean for their technical support and their dedication of time and expertise. Because of them, our graduation celebrations are able to be recorded and live streamed for viewers everywhere. To the parents, guardians, and caregivers. It's hard to watch your, child, your children struggle through the process of self-discovery. There's anxiety, there's frustration, fear, and worry. It goes without saying that their successes are equally shared as yours. Thanks to each and every one of you. Lastly, but most importantly, you the grads, you made it. 
There is something about this struggle that is enlightening and inspiring. This is certainly not what you expected for your final two years here at Beck. The one thing that we are all sure of and that we've learnt is the future is always uncertain. Through the difficult, challenging, and ever-changing times, you all showed great courage, skills, and resiliency. You have proven and shown your strength time and time again. Congratulations, graduates, and it's because of you that we were all here today. I would like now to call upon Reverend Duncan Roach of Calvin United Church to offer the invocation. Let us join together in prayer. God of joy and God of hope, we thank you for this time of graduation, for the graduating class of 2021 Breton Education Center. Your spirit of wisdom has empowered all our hard work and study. Let us have gratitude for the many blessings that have brought us to this moment. In thankfulness, we thank you for our families that have sacrificed to see us to this hopeful moment. We thank you for our school administrators and teachers and staff who have challenged us, cared for us, and crafted us along this journey. In gratitude, we thank you for all the members of the 2021 graduating class who have taught us about friendship, cooperation, and sharing. Oh God, give us courage and hope as we undertake the next steps in our lives. May your spirit guide us as we unfold in the next chapters. Help us to do good works in making this world a better place to live. And may this graduation celebration today be a reflection of the love that you have for us. O oh God, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. In addition to his scholarships and bursaries, Mackenzie has received the Salutatorian Award. The Salutatorian Award is given to a student who has high academic standing, who is a member of the graduating class, and who has demonstrated leadership in their school and community. I'm in a unique position introducing Mackenzie this year, seeing as he has been both a student in my English class and the one I yell to at home to empty the dishwasher. Gee, I wish I had my mom as my English teacher, said no teenager ever. And I'm sure he rolls his eyes a little when I scan his text messages for grammatical errors or spelling mistakes before you even read what he wrote. It's not always easy having your mom as your high school English teacher, but he has managed to survive two of his three high school years in my English class, and that may be reason enough for an award of its own. On a teacher note, besides his excellence in academics, he has been an active member of our Rotary Interact group since grade nine, and he has served as co-president for the past two years. He helped organize a food drive for St. Vincent de Paul, volunteered at Maple Hill Manor, helped do an extreme makeover in the school clothing room, but most notably, and maybe what I am most proud of, are the three trips he made to an orphanage in Haiti where he volunteered during his summer vacations. He has a big heart and his concern for others developed before he started school, when he started collecting pennies in his grandmother's white china teapot in order to help raise money for combined Christmas giving here in New Waterford. It's a tradition he continues, even though there are no more pennies to collect. Mackenzie is leaving the hallways and classrooms at Beck to attend St. Mary's University in Halifax in September to pursue a business degree at the Sobe School of Business. Mackenzie, as your teacher, I know you are well equipped to handle the transition to university life away from home, but like so many other moms sending their kids away to school, it's probably me who won't handle it so well. As both your teacher and your mom, I know you have a bright future. I'm proud of you and all that you've accomplished, and I wish you all the best that life has to offer. Ladies and gentlemen, grads of 2021, your salutatorian, Mackenzie Alexander Kearney. Hi.
I'm actually kind of surprised she didn't cry. I was waiting for her to start crying, so that's, that's an accomplishment. <laughs> uh, hello, friends, family, faculty, fellow graduates, and supporters. And for Ms. Benoit, bonjour. It is my honor to welcome you all to the 2021 Breton Education Center graduation ceremonies. Before I begin, I would like to acknowledge that we are in Mi'kma'ki, the ancestral and unceded territory of the Mi'kmaq people. It's hard to believe that our 13 year long journey is finally coming to an end. Our journey was not without its roadblocks and challenges, from work to rule in our grade eight year, to COVID causing us to miss the second half of our grade 11 year, and finally to our grade 12 year, where we missed COBO, prom, safe grad, and went back and forth between in-person and online school. I know this wasn't the way that we had all envisioned finishing high school, but we still managed to make the best of a bad situation. Through our heartache and misfortune, we have become stronger and closer than ever before. We are a vocal, determ determined, kind, caring, and most of all, resilient group of young adults. I am proud of what each and every one of us has accomplished today. We are all unique and all have our own strengths, weaknesses, and challenges, and we have overcome the obstacles in our way to accomplish this great feat. During my four years of high school at Beck, I've learned a lot about myself along with important life lessons. I've learned that having your mother as a teacher isn't as bad as you might think unless you forget to do the dishes. From Mr. Campbell, I've learned that when you don't know what to get your dad for Father's Day, just buy a ladder. From Ms. McKenzie, I've learned that color-coded binders are the key to extreme organization. From Ms. McLeod, I've learned 100 digits of pi, 3.14159265535, don't worry, I'm not going to name them all. From Mr. White, I've learned that a passing train can cause you to lose your train of thought. But most importantly, from all my teachers at Beck, I've learned that kindness and compassion are just as important as wisdom. They say it takes a, a village to raise a child, which couldn't be more true. If it weren't for the support, love, and guidance of our parents, friends, family, and community and teachers, we wouldn't be here today. I'd like to thank all of our parents for bringing us into the world and raising us to be kind and compassionate individuals. Our teachers for teaching us that with hard work and determination, no dream is unattainable. Our family and friends for always showing us love and support. And finally, our community for coaching our sports teams, donating to our fundraisers, and for being the rock that we could always count on. Thank you to everyone who helped us be here today. Many of us may see today as an ending, but rather than think about the ending to this chapter in our lives, we should look at today as a beginning. Today is the first day of us being leaders, doers, and problem solvers of the future. Today we wear orange on our grad gowns to commemorate the unmarked graves of more than 900 children that have been found at residential school sites across Canada. I know the pain I've felt from hearing the heart-wrenching stories from survivors of residential schools, so I can't even begin to imagine the pain felt by survivors and their descendants. We can't change the past, but we can change the future. We can make a world that welcomes everyone, no matter of their skin color or beliefs. We can make a world where children are not ripped from their families and sent to school where they are abused, raped, and even killed. As the poet Maya Angelou wrote, when we know better, we can do better. It is our job to change the world for the 900 children who never got the chance to grow up and graduate from high school like we are today. We can accomplish anything with hard work, determination, and kindness. Once again, on behalf of the graduating class, it is my honor and privilege to welcome you all to the 2021 Breton Education Center graduation ceremonies. Jordan Michael Andrews. Congratulations, Jordan. You may pick up your certificate. <laughs> Drake, Jordan, and Joni. Drake is graduating with a French certificate. Congratulations, Drake. You can pick up your certificate in the middle of the room. J. 
Janie Ann Marie Baker. Janie has received the New Waterford Rotary Club bursary of $500 and a Partnership for Access Awareness Scholarship for $1,500. Congratulations, Janie. You can, may pick up your certificate. Drew Kenneth Baldwin. Drew is graduating with distinction, as well as the following awards. The CBU Kiwanis Convention 2003 Award for $1,000, and the Michelle Curtis Memorial Scholarship for $500. <laughs> Congratulations, Drew. You may pick up your certificate. <laughs> you are now paying rent. <laughs> Natalie Page Berry. Natalie is receiving the Dominion Hawks Club Scholarship of $200 and the New Waterford Rotary Club Bursary of $500. Congratulations, Natalie. Morgan Mary Bates. Morgan is graduating with highest distinction as well as the following award. The Don't Stop Believing Bursary in memory of Gordy Quigley, $250. Congratulations, Morgan. You may pick up your certificate. That's so Morgan. Brett Michael Baxter. Brett is graduating with distinction, as well as the following award. The Ocean Fuels Award of $150. Congratulations, Brett. Pick up your diploma in the middle. Skyler Dalton Bennett. Congratulations, Skyler. Please come to the middle to get your diploma. <laughs> Ryan Scott Bernard. Ryan is receiving a Cape Breton Regional Municipality Award of $400 and a CVU Bruce and Dorothy Rossetti Scholarship of $8,000. Congratulations, Ryan.
Eden J. Mateo Bold. Congratulations, Keaton. Please come to the middle and accept your diploma. <laughs> Carter Darren Brown. <laughs> Carter is graduating with highest distinction and a French certificate. He also received the Hustle Award for Varsity Boys Soccer, the MVP Award for High School Hockey, MVP Award for Boys Basketball, as well as the High School NSSAF Good Sport Award, and he was the school's Male Athlete of the Year. Also, Carter also received the Cape Breton High School Basketball League Defensive Player of the Year, and he is the recipi recipient of the following awards, a Beck Faculty Award of $100, Ocean Fuels Award of $150, CBU Reverend George McLean Memorial Scholarship of $500, the Michelle Curtis Memorial Scholarship of $500, the Joseph G. McClellan Memorial Bursary of $500, the New Waterford Rotary Club Bursary of $500, and the Cape Breton University Cape Breton Highlander Scholarship of $1,000. Alexander Ian Burke. <laughs> Alex is graduating with distinction as well as the following. A Beck Faculty Award of $100, the Waterford Credit Union Bursary of $500, the Cape Breton District Local NSTU Scholarship of $400, the Ocean Fuels Award of $150, and a Cape Breton University Bruce and Dorothy Rossetti Scholarship of $8,000. Congratulations, Alex. Your diploma is in the middle here. Alex Travis Cameron. <laughs> Alex is graduating with a French certificate as well as the Cape Breton Regional Municipality Award of $250 a Lawler McDonald Scholarship of $100, and a Dads for Grads Trevor and Allie Leadbeater Memorial Award of $250. Congratulations, Alex. Your diploma is in the middle here. Danae Taylor Campbell. Congratulations, Danae. You can come to the middle and get your diploma. <laughs> M. 
Evan John Campbell. Evan received the Coaches Award for High School Baseball, as well as the Leadership Award for Junior Varsity Basketball. And he also receives the Hurl Superior Sausage Company Limited Award of $100. Congratulations, Evan. Your diploma is in the middle here. Jessica Lynn Campbell. Jessica has received the Don't Stop Believing Bursary in memory of Gordy Quigley for $250. Congratulations, Jessica. You can pick up your, your diploma in the middle. Lauren Hillary Campbell. Lauren is graduating with highest distinction, as well as the following. The Beck Faculty Award of $100, the Ocean Fuels Award of $150, the Dads for Grads Trevor and Allie Leadbeater Memorial Award, $250, the Michelle Curtis Memorial Scholarship, $500, the Nawaterford Credit Union Bursary, $500, the Allen Family Memorial Fund Award in memory of Louis and Sylvia Allen, $350. And the Cape Breton University Dean Scholarship of $10,000. Congratulations, Lauren. Rebecca Lynn Campbell. <laughs> Becky is graduating with highest distinction. She also received the Coach's Award for Varsity Girls Basketball, as well as the following the William and Nora Power Memorial Award of $200, the Beck Faculty Award of $500, the Michelle Curtis Memorial Scholarship of $500, the Jacob McNeil Memorial Bursary of $500, and Cape Breton University's Dean Scholarship of $10,000. Congratulations, Becky. You can pick up your new diploma in the middle. Tassel Campbell. Flip. Yeah. Jack William Cashin. In addition to graduating with distinction, Jack also received the MVP award for the golf team, as well as the following. Ice Jam Hockey Award of $500, the Association of Teachers of Exceptional Children Special Achievement Bursary, $500, the Ocean Fuels Award of $150, the Dads for Grads Trevor and Allie Leadbeater Memorial Award of $250, the New Waterford Rotary Club Bursary of $500, and a Halifax Mooseheads Award of $1,000. Congratulations, Jack.
Connor Joseph Chesson. Connor is graduating with distinction as well as the following. A Beck Faculty Award of $100, the Ben Buffett Memorial Scholarship, $250, the Beck Jazz Band Award of $500, Cape Breton District Local of the NSTU Scholarship, $400, and a CBU Full Academic Scholarship in memory of Robbie Chesson. Congratulations, Connor. Jordan Haley Cormier. Jordan is graduating with highest distinction, a French certificate, as well as the following. A Beck Faculty Award of $200, Calvin United Church Women Award of $200, the Scotchtown Volunteer Fire Department Bursary, $200. New Waterford Legion Bursary, $300. Bayside Drive-In Limited Award of $400. Bernadette Gilmet Memorial Bursary, $500. And the Bruce and Dorothy Rossetti Scholarship of $8,000. Congratulations. <laughs> Parker James Crosby. In addition to graduating with highest distinction, Parker also received the Sportsmanship Award for High School Baseball, the MVP Award for High School Hockey, and the NSSAF High School Scholar Athlete but that's not it. Parker's also the recipient of the following. The Martin Schwartz Award for Excellence in Math, $100. The Martin Schwartz Award for Excellence in Chemistry, $100. The New Waterford Rotary Club Bursary, $500. The Tom Cummings Memorial Scholarship of $1,000. A Beck Faculty Award of $1,300. CBU Robert and Anna McCauley Memorial Award of $1,000 the Marguerite Bourgeois Bursary of $1,100, the Dr. John B. Stewart Scholarship, $1,000, and the CBU Chancellor Scholarship of $30,000. Sophie Ann Curtis. <laughs> Sophie is graduating with highest distinction, a French certificate, as well as the following. A Beck Faculty Award of $100, Basil and Lorraine McGilvery Scholarship of $150, the New Waterford Credit Union Bursary of $500, Michelle Curtis Memorial Scholarship, $500. New Waterford Rotary Club Bursary, $500. The CBU Catherine Anna Campbell Award, $2,500. And the CBU Dean Scholarship, $10,000. Sophie. Zachary Cole Deering, in absentia. 
congratulations, Zach. You are a graduate of the 2021 class of Breton Education Center. Hayden Joseph DeRosier. Hayden is graduating with distinction, as well as the following. Cape Breton University tuition waiver of $500, the Waterford Rotary Club bursary of $500, and the Canada Games 1987 volunteer scholarship of $1,000. Congratulations, Hayden. David Giovanni Alexander DeWolf. Congratulations, David. You are now a graduate. You can pick up your diploma in the middle. Take your time. <laughs> Kaylee Isabel Donovan. Kaylee is graduating with distinction and a French certificate. Congratulations, Kaylee. You can pick up your diploma in the center of the stage. Jared William Donovan. your uh, diploma here. <laughs> Avery Ryan Doucette. Congratulations, Avery. You're now a graduate of Breton Education Center. <laughs> Parker Wilson Doucette.
Parker is graduating with the Waterford Boxing Club Award of $500. Congratulations, Parker. You're a graduate of Breton Education Center. <laughs> Regan Celeste Doyle. <laughs> Regan is graduating with highest distinction and a French certificate. Regan has also received the Most Improved Award for Girls Varsity Soccer, the Coaches Award for Junior Varsity Girls Basketball, and the High School NSSAF Good Sport Award. Regan is also the recipient of the following. Beck Faculty Award, $100. V.J. McGilvery Funeral Home Bursary, $600. Agnes DeSale Scholarship, $250. Michelle Curtis Memorial Scholarship, $250, and the CBU Dean's Scholarship, $10,000. Congratulations, Shirley. Graduate of Breton Education Center. And as Ronnie says, now you have to pay rent. <laughs> Kaylee Ann Drake. Congratulations, Kay. You're now a graduate of Brighton Education Center. So you can pick up your diploma in the center. There you go. Carter Murray Ellis. Congratulations, Carter. You're a graduate of Breton Education Center. Pick up your diploma. <laughs> Hayden Shane Forward. Hayden is graduating with distinction as well as the following. CBRM award of $250, Mount Carmel 60th bursary of $100, Dads for Grads Trevor and Allie Leadbeater Memorial Re Award of $1,000, CBU Michael and uh, Ethel McLean Award of $2,000. Congratulations, Aiden. You're now a graduate of Breton Education Center. <laughs> Brendan Ryan Frazier. Brendan is graduating with distinction, as well as the following. Mary McDougall Family and Friends Award, $100. Dr. 
Dr. Joseph Schwartz Award, $300. CBU, Reverend George McLean Memorial Scholarship, $500. CBU, Bruce and Dorothy Rossetti Scholarship of $8,000. Yes, congratulations, Brent. You're a graduate of Brenton Education Center. Beautiful. Emma Marie Gale. <coughs> Emma's graduating with distinction as well as the following. Beck Faculty Award of $100, CBU Reverend George McLean Memorial Scholarship $500, the Beck Band Bursary of $250, the Ben Buffett Memorial Scholarship $250, CBU Tuition Waiver of $500, the Canada Games 1987 Volunteer Scholarship of $1,000. Congratulations, Emma. You're a graduate of Breton Education Center. And you get to turn your tassel over. <laughs> Jacob Lachlan Goodwin. Congratulations, Jacob. You're a graduate of Brighton Education Center. Let's pick up your diploma. <laughs> Justin Cody Alphonse Griffin. Justin is receiving a bursary of $400 in memory of former Beck grad John Burchill, donated by the O'Connor family. <laughs> Samantha Emily Griffin. Samantha is receiving the New Waterford Rotary Club bursary of $500, a DeSetchel Memorial bursary of $1,000, and Northern Nova Scotia Foundation Dr. John B. Stewart scholarship of $4,000. Congratulations. <laughs> You can take your diploma now, Sam. Face Mrs. Penhorn. Right there. <laughs> Haley Jean Halliday. Congratulations, Haley. You are now a graduate of Breton Education Center. You can get your diploma in the middle.
Karen Abigail Hillier. Taryn, Taryn is graduating with distinction as well as the following awards. The Conlon Klinger McIntyre Memorial Award of $150, the Medical Staff of New Waterford Consolidated Hospital Award of $250, and a Cape Breton University Bruth and Dorothy Rossetti Scholarship of $8,000. Congratulations. Congratulations, Taryn, your diploma is here in the middle. <laughs> Colton Robert Hurley. Colton is receiving the Allen Family Memorial Fund Award in memory of Louis and Sylvia Allen of $180. Nathan Alexander Jones. Nathan is graduating with distinction as well as the following. The Royal Canadian Legion, Branch 15, New Waterford, Alan McDonald Memorial Award of $500, and the Donald R. Sobey Award of $2,500. Congratulations. You can come forward and get your diploma. Mackenzie Alexander Carney. Mackenzie is graduating with highest distinction in French certificate, as well as the following. The 2020 Lieutenant Governor's Medal, the Queen Elizabeth II Medal for High Academic and, uh, Standing and Community Service, in memory of Jacqueline Poirier Bursary, $100, King Edward VIII for Excellence in English 12, highest grade IODE organization, equally merited, $200, Reverend Duncan and Charlotte Roach Scholarship, $300, CBV RCE Award of $500, Beck Faculty Award of $900, Mary Catherine K. McKinnon Memorial Award of $1,000, the New Waterford Rotary Club Scholarship, $1,000, the St. Mary's University Sobeys National Innovator Award for $52,000, for a total of $56,000. Congratulations. Nick William Kelly. Congratulations. Jessica Marianne Leahy.
congratulations, Jessica. You can pick up your diploma in the, on the table. Christopher Roderick Lee. Congratulations, Chris, and you can come to the center and pick up your diploma. Oh, switch <laughs> Benjamin Joseph Ludi. <laughs> ben is graduating with distinction and a French certificate. Ben also received the Coaches Award for High School Hockey, as well as the following. A Beck Faculty Award of $100, New Waterford Rotary Club Bursary of $500, the Lingan Electrical Limited Award of $1,000, and the CBU Dean Scholarship of $10,000. Congratulations. Devin Alexander Jerome McCormick Hurley. <laughs> Devin is graduating today with an O2 certificate. Congratulations. Rebecca Ann McDonald. Congratulations, Rebecca. Oh, we're get, just getting your diploma. One second. Jasmine Anastasia McIsaac. <laughs> Jasmine is graduating with highest distinction as well as the following. The Ann Terry McClellan Scholarship of $250. Sean McDonald Memorial Bursary of $100, Frankie Morrison Memorial Bursary of $150, and a Beck Faculty Award of $100. Congratulations, you're a Beck graduate. You can step to the center there and get your award and your diploma. And I love your cap. Pretty cool. Jess Aileen McIsaac.
just graduating with highest distinction, as well as the following. The Beck Grad Book Editor Award of $100. Joseph Van Donick Memorial Award of $500. Lines Udovan Scholarship of $500. A Beck Faculty Award of $900. And CBU President Scholarship of $20,000. Congratulations, you're a graduate of Fretton Education Center. Thank you. That's your final lesson for the year. <laughs> Joella Marie McIsaac. Congratulations. You're now a graduate of Breton Education Center. You pick up your diploma. <laughs> Olivia Nicole McKenzie. Olivia is graduating with highest distinction, as well as an O2 certificate, and the following. The Emil Vanderbilt Award for the student with the highest aggregate, $600. CBVRCE Award of $500. New Waterford Rotary Club Scholarship of $1,000. Beck Faculty Award of $1,500. Education Nova Scotia International Ambassador Award of $2,000 and a CBU President's Award of $20,000. Yeah. And on top of all that, congratulations, you're a graduate of Breton Education Center. Kendra Angelina Anna McKinnon. <laughs> Kendra is graduating with highest distinction, as well as the following. The Beck Faculty Award of $200, Mary Catherine K. McKinnon Memorial Award of $1,000. Medical Staff of New Waterford Consolidated Hospital Award of $1,000. Career Rising Education Contribution Award of $1,200. The Marguerite Bourgeois Bursary of $1,700. And a CBU Dean Scholarship of $10,000. Congratulations, Kendra. You're now a Beck graduate. <laughs> Adam James McLean. Adam is graduating with distinction and a French certificate, as well as the following. The 2020 Lieutenant Governor's Medal, F.J. Ango Scholarship of $100, Beck Faculty Award, $100, St. Anthony Daniel Council Knights of Columbus 3209 Bursary of $500, the Waterford Credit Union Bursary, $500, Beck Band Bursary, $500, New Waterford Rotary Club Scholarship, $1,000, and the Vic O'Coin Memorial Award of $1,000.
Adam is also receiving the Principal's Award today. The Principal's Award is for exemplary service and dedication to the school and community named in honour and remembrance of Jacqueline Poirier. Mrs. Poirier was a teacher in the Cape Breton Victoria Regional School Board and spent the majority of her career at Breton Education Centre where she retired as Department Head of English in 2016. Jacqueline showed her devotion to service from a young age. She was president of the Youth Christian Society, president of the New Waterford Skating Club, speed skating coordinator for the Jeux Canada Games, and founder of the Literacy Program for New Waterford Rotary. At Beck, she served on many different committees, committees over the course of her career. For example, graduation committee for many years, as well as a valued and long-serving member of the Scholastics Award Committee, and of course, Jacqueline served many hours, days, and years as director and co-chair of the New Waterford Cobalt Classic. Jacqueline had a ready smile and an infectious laugh, and she exemplified service and dedication to this school and this community. This award is for the graduate that exhibits these qualities as well. This year, the Principal's Award for Exemplary Service in honor of Jacqueline Poirier is awarded to Adam McLean. You can pick up your awards at center stage. <laughs> Congratulations, Adam. Ava Catherine McLean. Ava is graduating with a faculty award of $200. Congratulations, Ava. You're a graduate of Brighton Education Center. Anna Ann McLeod. Anna has received a bursary of $100 in memory of former Beck grad, John Virchow, donated by the O'Connor family. Yay! You can pick up your graduation diploma. Beck and Hannah is a graduate of Breton Education Center. Nathan Gregory McLeod. Congratulations, Nathan. You're a graduate of Breton Education Center. You pick up your diploma. Jesse Alexander McNeil in absentia. He's graduating with distinction, as well as a French certificate, as well as the following. A CBRM award of $200 and a Malcolm Stevenson Memorial Award of $150. Congratulations to Jesse. Bailey Nicole McPherson. Bailey is graduating with an O2 certificate, as well as the Scotchtown Volunteer Fire Department bursary of $200. Woo! 
Congratulations, Betty, a graduate of the Breton Education Center. <laughs> Chloe Lynn McPherson. Chloe's graduating with highest distinction and a French certificate. Chloe also received the most valuable player of the Cape Breton High School Basketball League, the MVP award for girls varsity soccer, the MVP award for varsity girls basketball, and is the high school athlete of the year. Among those awards, she is also receiving the Michelle Curtis Memorial Scholarship of $500, the New Waterford Credit Union Bursary of $500, New Waterford Rotary Club Bursary, $500, Beck Faculty Award of $1,900, the Connor Timmons Memorial CBU Entrance Award, $3,000, Cape Breton University Women's Soccer Scholarship of $10,000, and Cape Breton University Dean's Scholarship of $10,000. Congratulations, Chloe. You can step to the center and pick up your awards. <laughs> Joshua Vincent Clinton McPherson. Josh is graduating with distinction, as well as a CBRM award of $400. Scott Mitchell McPherson. Mitchell is graduating with distinction, as well as a Dads for Grads Trevor and Allie Ledbeater Memorial Award of $250. Congratulations, Mitch. You can pick up your certificate and diploma. And yes, you are now a Brett Beck graduate. Lauren Elizabeth McSween. <laughs> Lauren is receiving the Joseph G. McClellan Memorial Bursary for $500 and the New Victoria Fire Department Tom Leamy Memorial Award for $350. Congratulations, Lord. You're now a Beck graduate. <laughs> Kyle Allen McCormick. Kyle is receiving the Dominion Hawks Club Scholarship of $200, the Florence and Mary L. McDonald Award for $1,000, the 
the CBU Kiwanis Convention 2003 Award for $1,000, and the CBU Alumni Association Entrance Scholarship of $2,000. Congratulations, Kyle, you're now a Beck graduate. Oh, stadium. Curtis John McLeod. Curtis is graduating with an O2 certificate. Congratulations, Curtis, you are now a Breck graduate. Dylan Charles McSween. Dylan is graduating with distinction and a French certificate, as well as the following. A Beck Faculty Award for $100, New Waterford Rotary Club Bursary of $500, the Joseph G. McClellan Memorial Bursary of $500, and the Cape Breton University Dean Scholarship of $10,000. Congratulations, Dylan. You are now a Breton Education Center graduate. McKenna Tony Mead. Congratulations, McKenna. You are now a Breton Education Center graduate. Michaela Christina Messerby. <laughs> Michaela is graduating with an O2 certificate. Congratulations, Michaela. You are now a Breton Education Center graduate. <laughs> Dakota Vernon Mitchell. Dakota is graduating with a French certificate. Congratulations, Dakota. You are now a Breton Education Center graduate. Awesome. Yes. Kelsey Burnett Neville. Kelsey is graduating with highest distinction as well as a French certificate. Kelsey received the Coach's Award for Varsity Girls Soccer and Varsity Girls Basketball this year. She was also a high school NSSAF Scholar Athlete and the Cape Breton Basketball uh, League's second team All-Star. Kelsey is the recipient of the following awards. The CBU Reverend George McLean Memorial Scholarship 
of $500, the Michelle Curtis Memorial Scholarship of $500, the Reverend Duncan and Charlotte Roach Scholarship, $300, New Waterford Rotary Club Bursary, $500, Beck Faculty Award of $1,100, Agnes Sullivan Memorial Trust Award, $1,000, and the Cape Breton University Dean Scholarship, $10,000. Congratulations, Kelsey. You are now a Breton Education Center graduate. Oh, it's so quiet in here. A.J. Stephen Nugent. A.J. is graduating with an O2 certificate. Congratulations, A.J. You are now a Breton Education Center graduate. Victoria Rayanne Nugent. <laughs> Victoria is graduating with highest distinction as well as an O2 certificate. Victoria is also the recipient of the following, a Beck Faculty Award of $100, Dads for Grads Trevor and Allie Leadbeater Memorial Award of $250, the Bram Schwartz Scholarship of $500, Gordon Photographic Scholarship of $300, and I would ask Ainsley Marsh to come to the stage and to present the next award. The Brady Marsh Memorial Bursary of $1,200. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations, Victoria. You're now a graduate of Breton Education Center. Jeremy Emmanuel O'Quinn. Jeremy is graduating with distinction, and Jeremy was also awarded the Grit and, Gris Grit and Hustle Award for Varsity Boys Basketball, as well as the Dominion Hawks Club Scholarship of $200. Congratulations. Ariana Christina Parsons. Ariana is graduating with an O2 certificate as well as the following. In memory of Mary and Tom Hurley Award of $400 and a Beck Band Bursary of $500. Congratulations. Yeah. 
Crowd Devin Joseph Penny. Congratulations, Devin. You are now a graduate of Breton Education Center. <laughs> Timothy Jordan Perfect. Timmy is graduating with an O2 certificate, as well as a Dads for Grads Trevor and Allie Leadbeater Memorial Award of $500. Congratulations. <laughs> Waylon Russell James Petrie. <laughs> Waylon is graduating with highest distinction as well as a French certificate. He was also awarded the MVP award for Varsity Boys Soccer and the following awards. The New Waterford Pensioners Club Award of $100, the Waterford Credit Union Bursary of $500, the Michelle Curtis Memorial Bursary of $500, a QP Local 5050 Bursary of $500, a New Waterford Rotary Club Bursary of $500, Anna Mae Stone Bursary of $1,000, a Beck Faculty Award of $1,200, and a Cape Breton University Dean Scholarship of $10,000. <laughs> there we go. Uh. <laughs> Erica. Leslie Pinhorn. <laughs> Erica is graduating with highest distinction as well as the following awards. The Robert and Dora Smith Bursary of $500, New Waterford Rotary Club Bursary of $500, a Beck Faculty Award of $1,200, a Cape Breton Island Building and Construction Trades Council Membership Bursary of $500, the Michelle Curtis Memorial Scholarship of $500, Cape Breton University General Surgical Society of Cape Breton Award of $3,000, and a Cape Breton University Faculty Association Scholarship of $12,000. Kelly Marie Pinhorn. Thank <laughs> you. 
Congratulations, Kelly. You are now a graduate of Breton Education Center. Please step forward and get your diploma. <laughs> Emily Ruth Rizzo Taylor. Emily is receiving the VON of Cape Breton Local NSNU Award of $500. Congratulations, Emily. You are now a graduate of the 2021 class of Breton Education Center. Please come forward and accept your diploma. Ebony Fate Robertson. Ebony is awarded the Breton Education Center F.J. Angle Award in honor of the late superintendent of schools and awarded, is, and the student is awarded, the Student Council President for Leadership and Student Affairs as well as Beck Co-President Award of $100, Beck Band Bursary of $100, CBRM Award of $200, St. Mary's University, the Margot Marshall Entrance Bursary, $800, and St. Mary's University, Harrison McCain Entrance Award of $5,000. your diploma and stuff. Yeah, there you go. Great job. Michael Valentino Rocket. Michael is graduating with the French certificate. Congratulations, Michael. You're a graduate of Breton Education Center, 2021 class. Jack Baldwin Spencer. Congratulations, Jack. You're a graduate of Breton Education Center, class 2021. That's right, Jack. <laughs> Danielle Elena Sweeney. Danielle is graduating with highest distinction and a French certificate as well as the following. The VON of Cape Breton Local NSNU Award, $500. The Michelle Curtis Memorial Scholarship, $250. The Medical Staff of the Waterford Consolidated Hospital Award of $500. The Beck Faculty Award of $800. The Agnes Sullivan Memorial Trust Award $1,000, the Cape Breton University's President Scholarship of $20,000. Congratulations. You're now a graduate of Breton Education Center, class of 2021. Hannah Renee Sims. <laughs> 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 
didn't think I'd make a package of what. Congratulations, Tanner. You're now a graduate of Breton Education Center. Don't forget what you came here for. <laughs> Abby Michelle Ty. <laughs> Abby is awarded the Breton Education Center F.J. Angu Award in honor of the late superintendent of schools, awarded to the Student Union President for Leadership in Student Affairs, as well as the Beck Co-President Award of $100, Dads for Grads, Trevor and Allie Leadbeater Memorial Award, $250, and a Beck Band Bursary of $400. Congratulations, Abby. Congratulations, Abby. Dawson Cole Totten. Dawson is the recipient of a bursary of $100 uh, in memory of a former Beck grad, Sam Birchall, donated by the O'Connor family. Congratulations, Dawson. You're a graduate of Breton Education Center, class of 21. Right. Okay, Yeah, that means you're graduating. <laughs> Landon Alex Walker. Congratulations, Landon. You're now a graduate of Breton Education Center, class of 2021. You can come and get your diploma there. Taylor Susan Webb. <laughs> Taylor's graduating with highest distinction as well as the following. In memory of Jackie Poirier Bursary, $100. King Edward VIII, Excellence in English, English 12, highest uh, grade IODE organization, equally merited, $200. That's a mouthful. <laughs> Beck Faculty Award of $500. <laughs> Congratulations, Taylor. You're a graduate of Breton Education Center, class of 2021. You can come and get your diploma. Kaiser Katarina Westwood. <laughs> Kaiser is the recipient of a CBRM award of $200. Congratulations, Kaiser. You're a graduate of Breton Education Center, class of 2021. 
can pick up your diploma there. Right here in the center, huh? Understand? Anthony Joseph White. <laughs> Anthony is receiving a Beck Faculty Award of $200. Congratulations, Anthony. You are now part of the class of 2021 Breton Education Center graduates. <laughs> Connor Joseph White. Congratulations, Connor. You're now a member of the class of 2021 Breton Education Center graduates. Jeremy Michael White. Congratulations, Jeremy. You're now a graduate of Breton Education Center. You can pick up your diploma in the center of the stage. Joshua Kevin White. mask on yeah you can leave your mask on yep congratulations Josh you are now a graduate of Breton Education Center 2021 congratulations you can pick up your diploma in the center awesome Madison Christina Lorraine White. <laughs> Madison is graduating with the highest distinction as well as the following. Beck Faculty Award of $100 and the Nash Matlock Memorial Bursary of $500. Congratulations. Congratulations, Madison. You are now a graduate of Breton Education Center. You can come to the middle and pick up your diploma. Karen, we got a hat too. She's got the hat all day. It's awesome. Amy Loren Wilson. Ooh. 
Amy is graduating with highest distinction as well as the following. Breton Education Center F.J. Angua Award in honor of the late superintendent of schools awarded to the Student Union President for Leadership in Student Affairs. Beck Student Council Co-President Award of $100. Ida Swartz Memorial Bursary for Music, $100. Beck Band Barbara Burke Memorial Award, $500. Beck Band Bursary, $200. Sisters of Charity Award, $500. Beck Faculty Award of $400. St. Mary's University Entrance Scholarship, $6,000 per year for a total of $24,000. Congratulations, Amy. Brady, Chad, Paul, Wilton. Woo! Brady is graduating with distinction, as well as a Beck Faculty Award of $300. Congratulations, Brady. You are now a graduate of Breton Education Center, Class of 2021. You may pick up your diploma in the center. Kelsey Marie Woodland. <laughs> Kelsey is graduating with an O2 certificate as well as the following. East Coast Rope Award for $200. Dr. Bryden McDonald Scholarship of $200, and Dads for Grads Trevor and Ali Leadbeater Memorial Award of $500. Congratulations, Kelsey. You are now a Breton Education Center graduate of the class of 2021. You can pick up your diploma in the center. Good morning, afternoon, or evening to all faculty, staff, family, friends, and graduates. It is a great privilege to be speaking to all of you today. Graduates of 2021, congratulations. We did it, guys. The time is here. We finally get to graduate. It feels like it was just yesterday that we were all in grade seven, terrified of the older kids and feeling like we had such a long time until we were the older crew. I wouldn't have ever thought it would come so fast, but as they say, time flies when you are having fun. Our years here at Beck have been eventful to say the least, but we got through them together as a class. Growing up in a small town, most of us have spent our 13 years of school together as classmates. I believe that this has made us closer and has created a bond that we will cherish forever. I will miss seeing you all every day. As we are closing this chapter of our lives, I hope that you'll look back at our years here and appreciate all of the good times we have had. I know we all have our own cherished memories that we will take with us, but I think that we can all agree that Colin's jokes will forever be missed and that Coralie's multiple choice will not be. <laughs> Seriousness, this school has gifted us with life-lasting friendships and amazing memories and has shaped us into the people that we are today. Throughout our journey here, we have, here, throughout our journey here, we have changed from the little seventh graders into an amazing group of young adults, and I am very proud of each and every one of you. The end of our years here is only the beginning of our futures out there. Whether you're going into university, college, trade school, or even taking some time off, I hope you're happy, and I hope you get everything you want out of life. We are a very passionate and determined young group of graduates, and I know that we can accomplish anything we put our minds to. Don't ever forget that. It is our turn to step out into the world. And let's remember that sometimes life can become tough and challenging, but I know that we'll be able to move past and rise above these obstacles. So let's stay true to ourselves and remember our self-worth. We would not be where we are today without our amazing support we have had over the years. Thank you to our amazing teachers and staff here at Beck. Your effort does not go unnoticed and is much appreciated. 
A very special thank you to Canova for putting up with me since I was a little chicken back in grade six. And the office for allowing student council to plan events and activities throughout this year. Another huge thank you to our parents and guardians. Your support throughout the last 13 years has been incredible and has been much appreciated. It's been an honor being one of your co-presidents this year. I wish you all the best and I'll miss you all dearly. Hello parents, friends, teachers, administrators, and most importantly, the graduating class of 2021. I would like to start off by thanking the administration and teachers for their endless support considering the circumstances of this year. Grade 12 year is stressful enough. Adding a global pandemic and countless restrictions does not make it any easier. However, we got through the year with many memories to cherish forever. To the parents, Thank you for raising us into the amazing humans we are today, as well as supporting us in every journey from the start of our lives till the end. To Ms. Canova, her army of intelligent grade nines, student council, and the media team, thank you for going above and beyond so that our grad class could have the year we deserve. Finally, to my fellow graduates, the last 13 years of high school paid off and we're finally done. Although I never imagined my last year would be spent like this, all of us, as a graduating class, managed to make it the best. When I started at Beck in grade eight, I didn't think I'd become so close with all of you. We've shared so many experiences together from World Cup in grade eight to becoming the hot topic in the Cape Breton Post just a couple weeks ago. I'm sad it's all over, but I wouldn't change anything about my last five years here. I'll never forget all the laughs, fights with Mr. Johnson, tears over Mr. Campbell's math tests, and morning greetings from Patsy. All jokes aside, I am so proud of all of you and who you've become. I know all of you have the power to succeed and do great things. Please be who you want to be. If high school's taught you anything, it should have been that people have a problem with anything you do. So keep being good people. Thank you for giving me the pleasure of being one of your co-presidents. I miss you all from the bottom of my heart. Hello, everyone. It's a pleasure to speak with you all on this exciting day. We finally did it. We got through 13 years of school for this moment, and although it's not what we expected, I'm proud of us for rallying through the year. However, I know it couldn't have been done without the support from the office and teachers. I just wanted to take the time to thank all those individuals for being flexible throughout the year to accommodate the grads in a variety of ways. I just want to say a special shout out to Mr. Burke and Stephen Muse for their overwhelming musical and academic support the past six years. Music has always been a, a huge part in my life, and without their help, I wouldn't be the musician I am today. So thank you both. Uh, I'm glad I got to spend my high school years with such a positive group of kids, and thank you to administration and teachers. Ladies and gentlemen, parents, friends, and graduates, it is my distinct pleasure to introduce the Val Victorian for the 2021 graduating class at Breton Education Center. Each year, our Val Victorian is a student who has ranked first in the graduating class, and this year, Olivia McKenzie has merited this achievement. Olivia is a student who has displayed an exemplary record of academic achievement in all her years of schooling. In addition, she has been very active in the school and the community while maintaining these grades. She has had a marked impact on our community through volunteering. In the past few years, she has given her time to the volunteering program through the Cape Breton Health Authority, the Youth Pair Program at Beck, Combined Christmas Giving, tutoring, and has also spent time volunteering for Maple Hill Manor. Additionally, as co-president of the Interact Club, she has helped organize and has volunteered with food drives, radiothons, donations for Transition House, clean up the town projects, and has had a shared leadership role in the Beck Clothing Room Committee. In addition to volunteering, she has also worked part-time at a variety of jobs over the past three years, including in retail, at the New Waterford and District Community Center, and as a registration officer for the federal election. Olivia is without a doubt a community-minded individual 
And while doing all this, she has demonstrated time and again that she is a dedicated student. In all her years at Breton Education Center, she has been awarded academic highest distinction. And this year, she graduates with top average of 98%. Olivia's plans for the future are also to begin the next phase of her journey at Cape Breton University, where she will pursue a Bachelor of Community Studies degree. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming this year's Breton Education Valedictorian, Olivia McKenzie. Congratulations. Friends, family, teachers, and fellow graduates, I am very pleased to be given the honor of speaking on behalf of the class of 2021 today. I'd like to start by thanking all the teachers, parents, and family members who supported each and every graduate over the course of this journey. Also, I'd like to give a big thank you to those who helped make this day possible. As I take a look back on my time here at Brent Education Center, I remember my first day in grade seven. There is a group of us students who got separated from our tour guide, and we took a look at the school. Confused and scared about where to go and how are you going to make it through the next six years. But now we're not the grade sevens anymore, and most of us don't get lost. But I can't say we're still not confused and maybe a little bit scared on what our future holds. Even though we're older now, we as a grad class had a rough couple of years. When COVID struck, we missed out on most of our grade 11 year, and we soon realized we would have the experience of graduating in the midst of a global pandemic. However, with the uncertainty of this year, it has given us the opportunity to look back on our high school memories, while at the same time teach us to never take anything for granted. Even with all the missed opportunities, our grad class has come up with unique ways to celebrate like Cobol Bowl. Even though it wasn't the same as Cobol Bowl, we would never forget the memories we made and fun we had while doing it. With all the disappointments and challenges this year, our sport team still managed to capture a provincial championship and five regional titles. And we can't forget the return of the Beck hockey team. Along with the amazing achievements of our athletics, we've had some great achievements from our school clubs this year. Our Interact Club ran a community food drive. The art club put beautiful paintings all over the school. The clothing room is now up and running. And our student council did an amazing job of planning various spirit weeks throughout the year. COVID-19 may have changed the band program, but it certainly didn't stop them. If you haven't checked out their Christmas concert, you should. Mr. Burp and Mr. Moose were perfect MCs for their incredible production. And our GSA and Headstrong also participate in multiple conferences throughout the year. With all this uncertainty of this year, I would like to point out one thing I do know for certain. We would not be the people we are today without some very special teachers. Can you imagine back without Colin Campbell's impressions, Greg White's puns, Cora Lee's color-coded binders, Susan Campbell's quotes, Dale Campbell's blue t-shirts, Heather Carney's Healy's, and Merlin's lizards, just to name a few. Our teachers and administrators, along with our families, have gone above and beyond to make our uncertain year special and has not gone unnoticed. When I was struggling to write this speech, this quote popped in my head and I knew it was my perfect ending. As Elle Woods once said, it is with passion, courage of conviction, and strong sense of self that we take our next steps into the world, remembering that first impressions are not always correct. You must always have faith in people, and most importantly, you must always have faith in yourself. Congratulations, class of 2021. We did it. <laughs> I would like to take the opportunity to congratulate the graduates who are obviously a very talented, a vibrant, and exceptional group. As individuals, you have shown that you are hardworking, dedicated, and thoroughly deserving of all of your successes. Of course, there was, have been, and there will always be challenges along the way, but you have shown your strength, perseverance, and flexibility, which contributes to the outstanding group that you have proven to be. You are well on your way to your personal success and happiness. And we are all so proud of each of you, and we are so proud to work in a school community that shares the values, beliefs, and expectations that are reflected in the work that you have done during your time here at Breton Education Center. You have done all that we have asked of you. 
You have qualified yourselves to pursue high levels of success and happiness in your life, no matter what pathway you choose, and each of you deserve nothing but the best. As you leave Beck for the final time today, leave knowing that we are all proud of you. We are impressed by you and that we believe in you and that we are counting on you to do your best with what you have been given, to build your own lives, to help your families, your neighbors, and your communities, and to use your good talents, whatever they may be, for better good. And no matter where you go in life, no matter where you end up, be confident in yourselves and be proud. Congratulations to you all. Congratulations to the class of 2021. Thank you, and we wish you all the very best. Before closing the celebration exercises, it is fitting that I express the utmost gratitude to Breton Education Center community. To name individuals would take far too long, to the students, to the many and various employees, to our neighbors, and to the business community, to the Cape Breton Center of Education, to all the volunteers, to the parents, and to all other persons that have contributed to the life of this community. I say to you with most sincerity, thank you. Finally, to the members of the graduating class, I ask that you remember your school fondly and that you return for a visit at any time, but especially on your 10th year reunion in 2031. Please have a very enjoyable and safe time as you celebrate with your friends and family the completion of your secondary education. I speak on behalf of the staff that it has been a pleasure to have you with us at Breton Education Center, and we wish you all the best. I'd like to share a poem by Mali Shaha, a speaker and a poet. Dear class of 2021, this is the year the most learning was done. And not just talking about learning science and math, I'm talking about life and finding the path. I know this year can be and has seemed unfair because you worked for so long, but remember, there are always lessons in things that go wrong. Sometimes we get stuck in the rain for a day or for an hour. But if you didn't have the rain, then you wouldn't have the flower. We all feel hurt and pain that can make us cry and cower, but it's often when we're weak, we learn not to abuse power. So on the days it feels hard to see what your efforts might be worth, remember, diamonds are made under the pressure from the earth. You sat six feet apart to stand as a collective. You couldn't step inside your school, but you made strides in your perspectives. Life is a journey with ups and downs that you are just about to embark. Sometimes it's challenges in life that can serve as that spark. Remember, light shines brightest when we are faced with the dark. And yes, marks are important, but it's important to leave a mark. A classroom can change a life, but life teaches the best lessons. Instead of counting cash, it reminds us to count our blessings. And when the going gets tough and the problems mount on, forget about counting friends and find friends to count on. These are life lessons. Learn them before you pass. And the best part is, is you can learn outside of the class. Before I call on Reverend Duncan Roach for the closing prayer, I would like to remind our grads who receive scholarships and or bursaries to, to send a thank you note to their donors. If you need the donor contact information, please check with the guidance department. I would now ask Reverend Duncan Roach to offer the closing prayer. As your classes in grading are now complete, may you strive towards excellence in all that you do. As this graduation time concludes, may your voices rise up to pronounce justice and peace in the world. As the celebrations cease, may you sing of joy, even in the dark and lonely places. As the congratulations quiet, may you celebrate and lift up all those around you. As you graduate today as members of the 2021 graduating class of Breton Education Center, may your achievements grow and cause growth in the communities in which you will live. And may we all know of the overwhelming blessings of God, our Creator, who created all things and who instills love in our hearts and in our lives this day and forever. Amen. 
Congratulations once again to the students and families on your success and all the best in your future endeavors. We hope you all remember Breton Education Center with fond memories of, as you move on forward into the next chapters of your lives. We are all waiting with excitement and anticipation to see what comes next for you. We know you will do great things. Congratulations.